This is Keith Tenberg's daily routine. He sits down outside Anchorage Gospel Rescue Mission and writes down 30 names, the names of 30 men lucky enough to have a bet for the night. What's up, kettle? Not much, Andrew. Mr. Mack. Sometimes there are more than 30 in line. Numbers 31 and up get turned away. It doesn't get any easier, you know, every time you have to do it, you know, it's a hard thing to do. On this night, Taurus Lappin is one of the lucky 30. Happy I get to take a shower, uh, get clothes, get socks, you know, get some good food in my stomach. He heads inside, takes right. a breathalyzer, one of the requirements to stay here, then sits down to wait for dinner. It's a chance to get warm, catch up, share stories. I gotta show you, I gotta tell you the uh, spots to stay warm during the day. But most of all, it's a chance, a place to survive on a night that's deadly cold. And then after a week or two of just doing this type of stuff, you know, you kind of, you kind of want to break free of it, but you don't have any kind of outsources, you know, to anything to reach out to, you know, and so it just builds up, gets on top of you, and it just it, it holds you down. For the unlucky, there's one other place to go, Brother Francis Shelter, but both options have limits on how often you can stay, and sometimes you time out. Keith would like to see another bigger shelter open, but says he doesn't think it's likely. That is the problem. There's just, there is no place to go. There's no beds. For now, Taurus is warm. Soon he'll have a full stomach. That's tonight. Tomorrow, well, that comes tomorrow. Just another day. You know, another hard one. Surviving today is his routine, and tomorrow he hopes his name will be on Keith's list as Keith keeps his afternoon routine alive.